In the last video, we broke down this game mechanic into its individual components. And now in this one, the enemy's collision mask is already set up, and we'll create the collision mask for the sword on the second frame of the animation. Then we'll check to see if the enemy is in collision with the collision mask, and if it is, we'll change the state of the enemy to hurt. Then we'll add a force to the enemy at the angle between the enemy and the player. And that sounds like a bit of math, but in GDevelop, you can just click on the expression builder, type in angle between two objects, and then select the enemy and the player, and then add 180 degrees to go the other way. And we'll make this a permanent force, so the enemy moves the entire time they're hurt, and then when the hurt animation finishes, we'll change it back to idle for a moment, and stop the forces applied to the object. And then when its idle animation is finished, we'll change it back to move, so it can chase after the player again.